So I'm super sick today, but I'm gonna skate because I'm committed to skating and committed to this YouTube channel. So I wanna test out tight trucks and loose trucks. So recently I watched a video of Chris Cole talking about why he skates tight trucks. So both Chris Cole and Nigel Houston skate thunder trucks. So thunder trucks get wheel bite worse than any other truck, but they're really good as certain things. They're really tech. They're kind of low. They lock in good, but they, I've never had a truck get wheel bite like thunders. Like I can skate slappies as loose as they can go, but I can't skate loose thunders or I will get wheel bite immediately. So Chris Cole said, if he skated loose trucks, you would never see another clip of him skating or landing anything ever again because he would just get wheel bite. He said this on the nine club. So growing up, I skated thunders and indies, but I would say most of the time I skated thunders as a kid. There are definite benefits to having tight trucks and there are benefits to having loose trucks. So the benefits to having tight trucks would be when you're doing flip tricks, you can pop a lot easier. You can pop higher with tight trucks. There's been several videos testing this out. There's been experiments. Tight trucks pop better. I think tight trucks kind of flip better too. Everybody's different, but loose trucks save lives. So loose trucks can kind of squeal and squeak out of sketchy situations. If you land a little bit off one way or the other, loose trucks can sometimes like wiggle their way out of sketchy situations like that and let you roll away from something that you wouldn't normally roll away from with tight trucks. So with Chris Cole, he's always jumping down stuff. He's a bigger, heavier guy. He's probably close to my weight. He's a pretty large guy. The trucks are gonna compress one way or the other if he doesn't quite land right, right over the bolts. So when you're jumping down stuff, it's important that you don't get wheel bite. For me, with thunders, if they're even a little loose, if I'm just doing like a nose slide shove on a ledge, I will get wheel bite every single time. So when I'm skating thunders, I have to skate the harder bushings. I'm 230 something pounds right now. So if you're a little lighter than me, maybe you can skate a softer bushing. I'm also like not perfect with everything I do. Like I don't land perfectly on the board. I'm not that controlled with my skating. I have a lot of board control, but I'm not like at that elite professional level, you know, like Chris Cole or Nigel Houston. So a lot of times pros will keep their front truck looser and their back truck tighter. Daywon Song is famous for doing this. He keeps his front truck so loose that he doesn't use a bushing on the top bushing on the front truck. He just uses two washers. So he has a really squirrely front truck and a kind of tight back truck. So Chris Cole says he does something like this where his front truck is a little bit looser so he can turn but his back truck is super tight. And for me, this does help. So especially when you're doing 50 fifties or grinds, you can really lock in good. If your back truck is super tight. Sometimes when your back truck is loose, you can't really lock into five O's or 50 fifties as good. My friend, John skates really tight trucks. Every time I get on his board, I can't turn. He's maybe a little bit heavier than me. Most of the time, these days I skate really loose slappy trucks, but occasionally I'll throw on some really tight thunders and do some more technical skating. So I can do 360 flips easier with ace or slappy. I can do kick flips and heel flips better with thunders. I think having like a loose turny truck and a short wheelbase helps you do tricks that rotate like 360 flips or three shoves, but having that wider wheelbase and a more structured, harder, stiffer truck is better for kickflips for me. Now I've seen people who can do kickflips with super loose squirrely trucks, but for me, it's just a little bit harder. All right, so let's go on to Nigel Houston. So the reason Nigel Houston skates tight trucks is because he skates a lot of rails and he locks into five O's on long round handrails. And if you're skating thunders, you're going to get wheel bite if you don't skate tight trucks. So when you get wheel bite on a rail, sometimes you get stuck and Nigel doesn't want to get stuck. A lot of contest skaters skate tight trucks. Like Jagger Eaton is another one that skates super tight trucks. 
I definitely think tight trucks are better for locking in to 50 50s and 50s on long round handrails. I don't have a ton of experience with that, but I do have a how to 50 50 grind video on a round rail on this channel. A gifted hater actually made fun of me for it on his channel one time. Like, I think it was the video about pants or like one of those fashion videos. He had me on there. Yeah, I don't have the prettiest 50 50s on round rails. Uh, you know, very famous skateboard haters have made fun of me for that but i can do them and i know that they are a little bit easier with tighter trucks and they are kind of easier on thunders so smiths and feebles are easier on thunders because the truck's a little bit lower and stiffer i have a how to smith and how to feeble video on this channel on a round rail and those videos were both done with thunders i think i uh, i don't think i could do them with slappies and the soft dragon wheels that i've been skating I think I would have to have Spitfire Formula 4s or Bones or something harder to do a Smith or a Feeble right now. So a lot of these skaters skate really hard wheels and really stiff trucks and it just gives you a quicker, more responsive skateboard. So I've noticed I'm different than a lot of people when it comes to skateboarding. I have different opinions because I think our skate park's a little bit different than most skate parks. So for me, I kind of like to have tighter trucks and thunders when it comes to mini ramp skating or like vert skating. I like those tighter trucks because when I'm doing 50-50s, I lock in heel side, and I just think they lock in a little bit better, especially if I have a harder, larger wheel. With Thunders, I can lock into 50-50s with tiny wheels, but it's nice to have a big wheel. I need some riser pads that actually work with Thunders for ramp skating. I wonder if other people that skate for Thunder skate tight trucks too. So for me, I kind of like a little bit looser truck for just kind of cruising around the skate park and doing flip tricks and stuff like that. Now, most people are the opposite on that. They'll take the tighter truck for the skate park and the looser trucks for ramps and bowls. But for me, I like the tighter truck on the bigger transition. The looser truck for me just makes my joints feel better and it's just more fun. So let's get out and try to skate a little bit. It's not going to be impressive. I'm pretty sick. So recently I played a game of skate and I was pretty happy with the results. I didn't film it, of course, but after it, I filmed a few flip tricks. I didn't have the pressure of the game of skate, so I wasn't really landing anything hard after it. But I played this game of skate on Thunders and I skated Thunders that whole day and I was pretty happy with my skating. I definitely did some stuff in the mini ramp that I haven't done in a while. I have some tricks on thunders that I can't do on any other truck. Like even if I tighten my slappies, there's certain things in the mini ramp that I struggle with. But I do struggle with 360 flips on thunder, so it's just, there is no perfect truck, just like there's no perfect camera, there's no perfect person. I'm pretty transparent uh, on YouTube and just in life in general. I don't have an agenda on YouTube. and. It's kind of a problem. Like I don't have any direction <laughs> for my YouTube channel, but I don't have any agenda, any secret like, oh, I'm gonna trick them into skating thunders or trick them into skating slappies. I don't work for any company. On my camera channel, I literally film and take pictures on every single brand of camera. I don't have any allegiance to any brands. I don't have any favorites. I don't have a favorite song. I haven't listened to music in a long time. I just don't care that much about music. I feel like when I was a little kid, I kind of enjoyed music, but the older I get, the more I just don't have time for it. I've got stuff to do. I know that's gonna like mess with your mind, but sometimes you just don't have time. You know, you're working, you're skating, you're trying to get exercise, trying to talk, trying to live a life and you know, you just don't have time to sit there and listen to like the new Eminem song. And Eminem did just drop a new song, by the way. I've heard that it's controversial. But yeah, like in life in general or on YouTube, I just don't have any agenda. Maybe I don't have any goals for my YouTube channel. I just kind of enjoy making YouTube videos. And in life, I just kind of do whatever I enjoy doing. And yeah, just honestly, just do whatever I feel like doing that day. It's not like every single thing has like an exact purpose. Like every single thing I do doesn't have to be like laser focused to have an exact purpose. 
I do have a lot of ambition for YouTube because I just really enjoy the YouTube community. I just enjoy making the videos. It's not like I'm trying to like take over the world or be like the leader of skateboarding or like the leader of Scientology. I don't understand how anybody could, never mind, I can't say that on YouTube. So I just looked up tight trucks versus loose trucks on YouTube for some inspiration. I didn't actually watch any videos, but I saw Zach Dowdy's video about this and realized I watched that probably two weeks ago or something. That's probably the inspiration for this video. Also like, what's his name? Um, Local Joe has a bunch of videos on this kind of thing. So he makes videos about a topic that's relevant and that's how he gets views. Because if you work really hard on a video but you don't have a topic or a thumbnail that's relevant that anyone's gonna look up, nobody's gonna watch the video. You have to be kind of smart to actually make it on YouTube and that's what Local Joe did. He had an idea and he went through with it and stuck to it. Yeah, I should probably be more direct and more like laser focused with my YouTube videos. I'm a little bit too much of like a go with the flow kind of guy. I just do whatever I think is right and whatever I feel like doing, you know, but a little too much, you know, I need to tone back on that a little bit and be a little more like precise and like, like think about what would do well and what would not do well. I just really like skating and I really like making YouTube videos. I like cameras, you know, I like talking too. I've found that I really do like talking and yeah, I don't have any agenda with it. Should I like, should I have some kind of an agenda, but behind why I like talking, I just think it's fun to express yourself in, in the art form of language, language arts. Our lives are just like a story. Ben DeGro has another good video about this. Uh, if you were doing like shove it's and 180s out of manuals, it'd be easier to have you know, tight trucks for manuals. But if you're doing long manuals, I think loose trucks are easier for most manuals. Anytime it's not technical, I think the loose trucks are easy. And I think anytime it's super technical, the tight trucks are easier. Like all I need is the air I breathe. A little bit of sunshine here and there, maybe some hummus and carrots, and that's it. Like we don't need all this stuff. There's a difference between wants and needs. You know, I didn't really realize, I'm probably gonna get in trouble on YouTube for saying this. I didn't really realize how toxic and how like evil Lord Shiva was in Hinduism until I started reading the Vedas uh, recently. He does some really messed up stuff. He cheats on people. He like, oh, he, he manipulates people. So he lusts after this person even though it's Lord Vishnu incarnated into a woman's body. He tells these girls or women uh, to come out of the lake and they're like, no, you've stolen our clothes. He's like, just come out the way you are. You know, he's really sneaky and manipulative. I wouldn't want to worship uh, Shiva. Shiva's a, like a sketchy character. So starting something new is always scary, but fun. Letting something die is never fun you know like friendships relationships your skateboarding career you know there's nothing that is fun to just let die your hopes and dreams starting on your hopes and dreams is always fun so this is crazy off topic but you can't have like a thousand different kinds of flowers growing in the same spot in your garden something has to die for something else to grow and good Soil comes from the feces of yesterday. We are constantly like regenerating our bodies, our cells, everything is constantly regenerating. So like the crap you're going through right now, you just have to let it go, let it go down in the composter, let it go down in the soil. And then next year you'll get something beautiful growing up out of that. Here's a meme for you guys. True freedom is knowing your cringe and choosing to be yourself anyways. I know I dissed music earlier, so I'm gonna read some lyrics from a song. Uh, free is all I know, free to burn the bridge and go. Free to be myself in the loneliness of no one else. The rest of that song's more positive, so we'll just end there. Let's go outside. So the thing about YouTube is you have to make videos with thumbnails and titles 
that relate to something that's trending, that people are actually looking up. So the thing about skateboarding is nobody's really looking anything up right now. Like nothing's really trending. The closest I've seen to something trending lately is when I made that video about that fighter who said that skateboarding was harder than fighting. You know, something that people can argue about, something that's controversial will generate views, but lately, what's really happening? Like, what, what skate news is really happening? Do you guys know anything that's like, people are searching? So the skate park's packed. It's full of little kids on scooters and little pit, little kids, not little pigs, little kids. I can't speak on uh, roller skates. Did I say that? I don't know. But I'll show some clips from yesterday when I was also still very sick. And after it gets dark, I'll get some skating in today. <sighs> Lofty, unachievable goals are the safest goals to have. Sometimes it seems like the reason I'm here on Earth, the reason I was put here, is because I have pride that I need to get rid of. And I'm learning how to get rid of it over time, but it has to get beaten out of me. One piece at a time. I lack a certain je ne sais quoi. What does that mean? Is having a goal the same thing as having an agenda like if we have a goal does that mean we have a hidden agenda is this this guy's diary or is this a skateboarding video i can't tell so maybe i have goals but maybe they're just so lofty and unachievable and maybe i like them that way so that there's no pressure to try to actually achieve them so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.